Hello, creative friends. It's another day at my little paradise here in Mykonos. Today it's a little bit more windy than the other day, so yeah. <laughs> I found another quiet little spot to come and do a little plain air. Uh, obviously, it's all about rocks and sea and sun. Um, so, uh, yeah, I found this little place here that um, it's actually there is a table and I brought my uh, my tools, my uh, plain air kit, the, my homemade plain air kit that we uh, I used the other day too. Um, yeah, the other day we made um, uh, this little sketch, so today we're going to be making another one. And um, let's uh, let's go. Start we start it. Set it up. Um, uh, let me set up a little bit more. Some little bit of razor, uh, we'll, some we'll um, start, uh, brushes, uh, and the little drawing, uh, sponge. Uh, there it is. The uh, watercolor uh, brush is ready, and uh, also I'm using today a square uh, synthetic brush. My spritz bottle clean a uh, tub with water and um, paper towel and we're ready to start our drawing um, I'm, I'm setting the horizon uh, about uh, three quarters from the bottom of my page uh, it's not exactly horizon it is where the sea and the mountains meet um, well that's my horizon and, um, and then I start doing a very rough uh, sketch of the mountains and the rocks in the sea. Uh, I'm not very, very uh, particular with the rocks. Um, <laughs> they would take forever to finish that uh, painting and I don't want to spend too much time on that. It's plain air. Uh, I did work uh, about uh, an hour on that painting and that's plenty for a sketchbook um, uh, painting. Uh, so um, once I finish with um, the sketch, uh, I will start um, putting the uh, main uh, waves and splashes uh, with um, with a white wax uh, crayon. So th that will um, almost uh, act as a um, uh, as a masking fluid uh, which I don't have uh, with me uh, so I'm gonna be using this uh, technique with the uh, white uh, wax uh, crayon uh, and it, 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 it did work actually pretty well uh, not um, I didn't get a very very uh, bright uh, and clean edges as I'm getting with uh, the masking fluid but uh, I got uh, a, a special oh, probably it's better because for the further uh, away waves and splashes it's better that it's not very clean and sharp um, so I'm pretty much happy with um, this technique for this particular uh, subject um, also, the, I've noticed that the waves are going diagonal, but as they come close to me, they turn and they're heading uh, towards me. So that's a little bit uh, tricky uh, thing when you are actually painting waves. Uh, you have to make sure that you uh, check the, um, the direction that the waves are are going further away and how this they're ending up uh, in front of you um, so yeah it's a, a little bit of um, I, I did not see before that they are actually going diagonal away from me and then they just turn and they come towards me that was very interesting and um, and now I, I'm starting with the uh, a wash uh, for first, I'm wetting all the paper, and um, and then I start obviously with the sky, very very uh, pale uh, blue. I think I mixed 
to uh, I believe I have cobalt and ultramarine on my on this palette so I just put a little bit of both and uh, I made it very watery then I continue with the with the C uh, I think I did this exactly the same for the C too just dip my brush at both and I made a really watery mix and then I added uh, a little bit um, burn on um, yep burn ombre uh, a touch of um, cadmium uh, orange yellow and um, yeah just to make it uh, to dirty a little bit my blue and not to be so clean uh, and bright uh, I, I, I wanted to be to, to have that a little bit turquoise sense uh, a little bit gray sense so yeah th that's what I did to um, contaminate it basically <laughs> um, then I, I started working with at the mountains uh, the ones at the feather way they may a bit more pale and as we come closer they become a bit more intense and clear uh, I've used uh, burnt ombre and uh, some burnt sienna and painless grey. I like painless grey for um, pretty much all my landscapes and seascapes. Um, yeah, it's a, I, I like this colour to use it for, um, for to control the values. So I've, I've done the mountains and wasn't very uh, wasn't very particular with them. Um, I've just done. I just tried to, to make to follow that um, uh, that order. A bit more pale, further away, a bit more intense, close up, and that's it. Um, then uh, I continue with uh, the rocks in the sea and the ones closer to us. Um, First, I started with the wash. Uh, I put some uh, browns, burnt sienna, burnt ombre, and just make them a little brown. And then I put a little bit in the water too, because uh, for the reflections. And also, as we are closer to us, we can see the the sand in the, at the bottom of, of the sea, uh, because it's so close to us. Um, then I start working a little bit uh, with the direction for the direction of the waves as they're coming. Um, I paid a little bit extra uh, attention on that. And then once my face wash is dried up, I start working on the on the rocks. Uh, I try to to have three values: the the brights, the highlights, the the darks and um, the mid-tones three values would be plenty for a, a rough uh, sketch that I'm, I'm doing um, I'm not paying attention too much on the rocks as I said otherwise I would be there painting for long 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 hours <laughs> um, this uh, painting actually took me only an hour that it was um, oh, oh, there we are. <laughs> my son, my husband just brought me, uh, they gathered some sea salt from the rocks and they just brought it to show me. Uh, sea salt is great for the salad, it's very, very tasty. Um, yeah, what I was saying now, the what I was saying, mm -hmm, I forgot. Oh, they distract me. <laughs> uh, good distraction. And um, yeah, I think now it's time to change uh, soon my water for, uh, because it's gone dirty, contaminated and start annoying me. So soon you will see that I'm going to change and put clean water at my container there. Uh, also, it had already tipped and um, yeah, it happens sometimes. You have to be careful with the when you are doing plein air. Um, like it didn't go on my painting, so that's fine. Uh, ah, yeah, I was saying about the time that it took me about an hour to do this painting, which is fine. I didn't want to spend any more time on a sketchbook painting. Um, it did actually turn up really good. The only tricky part it was the um, uh, I had to hold 
my sketchbook uh, flat so I can see uh, the both pages uh, the uh, otherwise the sun was hitting one page the other one was in the shadow and uh, it was very hard to to see what I was doing uh, so that was the only tricky part um, the wind didn't annoy me today uh, it was uh, the spot that I found was um, covered so I was lucky for that yeah only um, it, only the part as you can tell here the my top page is looking darker and the bottom one is very bright for my eyes <laughs> so it's a little bit tricky and plus because it was a bit uh, bright i was wearing sunglasses and when i took them off the colors were looking completely different <laughs> um but uh, after all uh yeah the the, the final result was uh, satisfied i was satisfied with the final result yeah and um yeah, I enjoyed very much this painting. At the end, I did add some wash for the the waves and uh, a little bit of white uh, gel pen uh, because I couldn't do the fine lines. Uh, it wouldn't stick uh, the gouache on uh, because I used the uh, wax white wax uh, crayon at the beginning. So, and that's uh, kind of it. I hope you enjoyed this video and um, if you haven't subscribed please uh, consider to do so uh, we're gonna be doing lots of play there for the moment and um, seascapes <laughs> but uh, yeah in the future um, I'm using uh, different techniques different mediums a uh, lot of different subjects so yeah it will be fun um, don't forget to click the uh, the like button and the notification bell so we'll be in touch with future videos so i hope i will see you soon in my next video till then be happy be creative and keep painting bye for now